In this brief video, we'll see how to prepare a hub model for analysis in ORCA 3D Marine CFD. The first thing I'll do is look at the properties to be sure that my model orientation is correct, my units are correct, and my fluid type is correct. Once I have those, I'll create a hull using ORCA's hull assistant. And with this ship model, we'll go ahead and add a bow bulb and lengthen it a little bit and say create hull. Now I'm going to mirror the hull because the CFD analysis requires a complete model. So let me join this. And the model should be a sealed poly surface or poly mesh with no naked edges. Then I go into Marine CFD analysis and specify the flotation condition. In this case, I'm just going to run it at the Z equals zero water plane. Next, I'm going to say where I would like the files to be stored. Then I select the analysis type, either resistance or powering. Then I select the hull type, displacement, planing, or high speed displacement. Then I can enter one or more speeds. Only one speed is run at a time, but you can create multiple sets of input files all at one time. Next step is to attribute the faces. And this tells the CFD tool how to mesh those faces and also allows you to see the forces individually on those faces. So I'll specify that these are deck and that these are transom. And right click to say OK. Finally, I can either just create the input files or I can directly run the simulation. In this case, I'll just create the files. Now I've started the CFD code, Sumerix MP. I'm going to click on Open, select the file that was created by Orca, and the first step is for Sumerix MP to create the mesh. In this case, the marine template in Sumerix MP is using information from the Orca input file to determine the size of the mesh and the boundaries of the domain. And here's our fully meshed model and domain. The simulation tab. I hit start. And the simulation begins. And that's all that's required to go from an Orca 3D model to a Sumerix MP CFD simulation.